Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on Osea, which is a natural, non-toxic skincare line. They sent me a few of their products and I wanted to share them with you because I am honestly and genuinely impressed by these products. There's actual demand for skincare lines that are less toxic, more healthy, because that's what we're calling for nowadays and I'm here for it. So yeah, if you are interested in hearing about any of that, just continue to watch. So if you know me, you already know that I'm 100% against animal testing, which is something that I take really seriously. So I refuse to purchase from, support, or collaborate with any companies that test on animals. But on top of that, I also am very interested in the type of ingredients that are in products that we use on our skin daily. So if you start to delve deeper and start just Googling one and two things, it begins to get really scary because there are not very many limitations when it comes to the type of ingredients that you can use to create cosmetics. So like I said, Osea is a non-toxic skincare line, which makes me very excited. I'm just so happy that nowadays people are actually living more consciously and therefore demanding this from companies and it's awesome. I think there's a great change coming on. I'm honestly so excited by Osea because not only are their products non-toxic and safe and clean, but they're also pretty effective and high quality as well. So a lot of the time you'll find that non-toxic cosmetic products don't work as effectively as those with all those nasty harsh chemicals in there. We're so accustomed to the strong, harsher chemicals. Because they're so strong, it provides immediate results, but what we forget is that there are long-term health issues that we don't even think about. Because, you know, it's like, oh, this is my face moisturizer, it's fine. You know, but there are actually things in there that can cause a lot of issues later on in life. So with Osea, I just feel like you get the best of both worlds. Like it's clean, it's safe, it's a brand that you can trust, but it's also pretty effective. So Osea sent me a few of their goodies. When I got my hands on a few of their products, I literally could not wait to slap that on this face. Okay, now let's just jump right in to talking about a few of the products that they sent me. Okay, so first up is the White Algae Mask. So this says that it's an age-defying mask that instantly improves the appearance of dull, uneven skin tones for a visibly brighter complexion. So I applied this to dry, clean skin and left it on for 10 minutes. So when you put it on, it feels like a thick moisturizer almost, and then as it dries, it just starts to dry clear on your skin, but you do still have to wash it off. You can't just let it sit there. But what I noticed was that it was super moisturizing, and once I washed it off, it felt so good. So I have actually tried Osea's Red Algae Mask a few, I don't know, some time ago, which kind of started tingling my skin as soon as I put it on. But with the White Algae Mask, I felt nothing. Like it was good. So if you have sensitive skin, this is the one that I would recommend for you. So it felt very moisturizing and my skin just seemed supple and happy. I then went in with their Vitamin C Serum, which is supposed to restore moisture and deliver a youthful glow. So for serums, that's something that you would need to be using consistently, like day and night, in order to see proper results. This is my first time using the Vitamin C Serum. So far, I like it. I don't know how effective it's going to be. I'm going to have to keep you updated on the gram. But as a first impression, I like it. Again, no burning. I do have sensitive skin, so super happy about that. And it also seems to sit really well under makeup. So I'm wearing all the products underneath a full face of makeup right now. And all of them actually work really well under makeup. Like I don't, I'm not super oily. I'm not, you know, it's not separating my makeup anywhere. It's just, it's good. All right, and then after the serum, I went in with their Atmosphere Protection Cream, which is their moisturizer. So it says this is a lightweight, firming, and mattifying moisturizer with geranium and jojoba oil. So it's meant to protect against environmental stressors, and it works perfectly under makeup and sunscreen, which it does, proven, tested. So I actually absolutely love the Atmosphere Protection Cream. If there had to be one of these products that was my favorite, it would be this one. It does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It is lightweight, but it's still super moisturizing. It just feels amazing on the skin, and then the fact that it just sits really well under makeup also makes me very happy. 10 out of 10 recommend for a daytime moisturizer. Oh, purr. All right, and then after the moisturizer, I went in with their Undaria Argan Oil. 
So this says it's a soothing botanical face oil for a plump and youthful glow. Honestly, I love facial oils. It's one of my favorite thing ever. I mainly use them at night because I do have combination skin. So if I know I'm going to be outside during the day, I'm not going to put on face oil because I'll be an oily mess. But today, I'm going to be inside in the AC. So I decided, let me try this oil out. And boy, am I glad that I did because this is also under my full face of makeup and still no, like I'm not a slicked up mess. I'm glowing, I'm glowing. My skin just feels like extremely comfortable underneath the makeup because it's so, I guess, moisturized. But then it just looks good on top too because it's not, it's just not too oily. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I really like this packaging as well. I am so happy that it's a roller ball and not a dropper because sometimes those droppers can be a little messy. All right, and then last but not least, I went in with their eye and lip cream. So this says it's a rich, multitasking, anti-aging cream with DPHP and mineral peptide. It's meant to visibly firm, brighten, and hydrate. So I found this really interesting actually, something that you can use on your eyes, but as well as on your lips, which is kind of cool. I do have super dry lips. Um, so I was kind of excited to see how this worked in terms of moisturizing them But if I'm being honest, it wasn't you know a major like oh my god This is the best thing for my lips ever. I have lip balms that work Just the same or some that work even better So not something that I would reach for for my lips, but under my eyes. It just felt amazing I love eye cream not because I need it but because it just feels good. There's just something about having like ultimate moisture right under here. It just makes you feel like a brand new person. So all in all, super excited about Osea products right now. As a first impression, everything on a whole was just great. I'm actually really happy with how this is working underneath my makeup. And I've had this makeup on for at least two to three hours now as well. And it's just, it's just continuing to hold up. And that's something that your girl is excited about. Okay, because not everything works under makeup. So if you go on their website, you'll see that they organize their products by skin type and skin concern. For me, when I had tried the blemish prone skin stuff some a while back, all of those were a bit too minty and a little bit too tingly and a bit stingy for my skin. Like I think my skin was a bit too sensitive for those. So this time around, I got some of the sensitive skin stuff and I'm actually super pleased about this. I'm gonna need to buy me about five bottles of the Atmosphere Protection Cream because that is boom. And the best thing about it is knowing that at the end of the day, you can use as much of these products as you want because they're safe and they're non-toxic. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on these Osea products and Osea as a brand. If you're interested in non-toxic skincare and makeup as well, go ahead and comment some of your favorite brands below. I would love to do some more videos like this so we can get to know these brands a little bit better together. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.